China has long been criticized for lacking innovation, but I wanted to show some of the different innovations that I've come across recently and a few from the past to show that China is far more advanced than a lot of people think. And later on in this video, I'll talk a little bit about how media often misrepresents China's achievements. But let's jump right into this list of innovation with number 10. Number 10 on this list is actually something I came across recently this year, and it is an AI sprinkler system that was installed in Fuyang Railroad Station. This system is like other sprinkler systems, but with a twist. As we can see in the demonstration video, the system can identify smoke and flames using AI software and then aim a fire hose directly at the fire. This is very different than traditional sprinkler systems that just kind of flood the whole building. If the AI software is fully developed over time, I think this will become the new standard. I find this approach to fire management really interesting, and I think we'll see more of these systems in the future. From fires to flying, up next on the list is the world's first passenger drone. This tech is a few years old now, but I still think it is interesting to look at and a good example of Chinese companies excelling at innovation. The electrically powered Yihong 184 is a drone that can carry a person for about 20 minutes at a speed of around 100 kilometers an hour. This is a great example of Chinese companies' ability to expand on existing technologies and creating something new. Although these haven't been rolled out all over China or the world, it is one of the first designs that works and has the potential to change short range travel. On top of that, it's just cool to look at. I hope that these become more popular in the future. But if you are a little too scared to fly in a drone, next up on our list is the LSEV, which claims to be the first mass producible 3D printed electric car. 3D printing has been around for a while now and many companies are using this process to produce parts or small objects, but Polymaker, the company behind the LSEV, is taking this process to the next level. They are hoping to make all visible parts of the car except the chassis, seats, and glass from 3D printing, which will reduce the number of parts from around 2,000 to under 60 and greatly reduce the weight. These cars will be designed for city driving and resemble a mini or smart car, which are popular in Europe. Italian electric car manufacturer XEV, which is partnered with Polymaker, is hoping to enter the European markets with the new 3D printed car. Although these cars still require many traditional parts, it is interesting to see how 3D printing is evolving and creating more complex products. From air to land to sea, next up is the first of its kind, according to reports, of an all-electric cargo ship. The world's first 2,000 metric ton all-electric cargo ship was launched in Guangzhou a few years back. This cargo ship will be mainly used to run in the inland section of the Pearl River, and it represents a technological breakthrough as it is the first in the world to use a lithium battery in a fully powered cargo vessel. One of the biggest polluting industries in the world is shipping, and although this ship isn't going to cross the Pacific anytime soon, it is an important step in the right direction. Proving that something is possible is oftentimes the most important step in technological progress, and this cargo ship proves that cargo can be shipped with electric engines. If China continues to improve battery technology and improves electric cargo ship manufacturing, we could see entire electric fleets in the future. Before we move on to the next tech on this list, I think it is a good time to talk about China's tech development. For as long as I can remember, China has always been looked down in the tech field. There are countless reports talking about China's inability to innovate, but in recent years, those reports no longer make sense. Technological progress is slow and methodical. It requires a strong base to bear any fruit. In the 80s and 90s, China was building that base. They built up their manufacturing bases along with their educational systems, and then in the late 90s and early 2000s, we started to see that work bear some fruit. It was mostly copying American and other countries' tech, but producing it all at home. The story went from China can't innovate to China can only steal and copy, to now China is a direct competitor with the US. In the most recent reports, China is actually ahead of the US in many fields. This is an amazing accomplishment and why the US is so scared of China. If we look at the big picture, it is truly amazing. 40 to 50 years ago, China was a poor and backwards country with little to offer the rest of the world besides cheap labor. But fast forward to 2023 and China is considered one of the most advanced and innovative countries ranking first or second in most rankings. 
The reason most people don't hear about it is because the US media is trying to suppress this reality. The US is worried that it will lose its technological edge to China and that scares them a lot. A lot of people will still claim China is years behind, but if that was truly the case, the US wouldn't be moving so aggressively against China. A good example is the US isn't moving against Kenya or passing laws to prohibit semiconductors from being sold to Kenya, but it is doing that to China. The US is also putting pressure on other nations to keep companies from doing business in China. The US is moving against China because they know that given more time, China will surpass the US. It is very interesting to see how China is developing and speaking of developing, let's jump right back into this list at number six. Number six is something that I actually find a little strange, but I think it will be developed over the next 10 to 15 years and become the industry standard. I'm talking about AI news anchors. A few years back, China launched the first AI news anchor to everyone's whore. Jokes aside, it was interesting to see this computer generated news anchor. The tech at the time wasn't that developed, but it was the first of its kind. If you search for AI news anchor now, you will see many different videos showing AI news from around the world and some of the videos are becoming more and more realistic. I think this type of news will continue to grow and we will eventually have more AI anchors than real human anchors. With the rise of AI software like ChatGPT and AI anchors, soon news will become super specialized to each individual, having their own AI anchor feeding them the news they like to watch. Most news sites already have feeds and algorithms to surface news to each user, and I think this will just be the next step. News on demand specialized to each individual. It is a little black mirror or twilight zone, but I think this is most likely the future of news. Okay, we've made it halfway through this list, so please give this video a like because it does help with this algorithm on YouTube. All right, next up is another promising technology that if developed could change the transportation industry forever. I'm talking about plasma drives. According to reports, researchers in China have developed a prototype jet engine that uses air plasma to generate propulsion. Moving a step closer to humans' dream of carbon emission-free air travel, the prototype device built by a team of scientists from the Institute of Technological Sciences at Wuhan University uses air and electricity to generate propulsion under laboratory conditions that can be comparable to traditional commercial aircraft engines. It'll be really interesting to see how this technology develops over the next few decades. Currently, it is just a prototype, but the results are promising and could lead to propulsion breakthroughs. Maybe one day, the plasma drives will power the next tech on our list. Coming in at number four is the world's first amphibious drone made in Shanghai. Amphibious planes have been around for a long time, but I guess nobody thought to make an amphibious drone until UVS Intelligence System, a company based in Shanghai, started to produce their U650 seaplane. Like other tech on this list, it is a good example of combining existing technologies to make something new. According to the reports, the drone can be used to transport cargo to islands or even used to spot submarines. The 5.85 meter long unmanned seaplane made of carbon fiber is able to stay aloft for 15 hours with a cruising speed of 180 kilometers per hour and a flight range of 2000 kilometers. This might not be the most exciting tech, but it is the first in the world according to reports and shows how many innovations are often overlooked by the media. Oftentimes the media only wants to report on major breakthroughs in tech and science and often overlooks or downplays slow progression. China has been slowly progressing for the last 40 years, which is why it is creating some of the best and most cost-effective technology today. And speaking of cost-effective, next up on our list is China's virtual railways. This is something that was developed a few years back, but has the potential to change public transportation around the world. The train is somewhat of a hybrid between a long bus and a traditional tram. It can carry more passengers than a bus, and unlike a tram, it doesn't run on physical tracks, which is why it is being called a smart train or virtual train system. The idea is really creative because these could be installed in any city without massive road construction. Because the trams travel on painted tracks, any city could develop this system without major reconstruction. Many cities around the world, and especially in Europe, 
already have trans systems and many people enjoy using trams. This could take that concept to every city that is willing to develop this system. This tech is already being used in a few cities in China and it is expected to be implemented in Israel and Australia in the future. Next up is a giant skyscraper sized air purifier. This might seem strange at first, but China has been dealing with air pollution for many years now and modern problems require modern solutions. This was actually mocked at first, but now that more and more nations like India, Bangladesh, and Pakistan are dealing with their own air pollution problems, solutions like this one might not be so crazy. According to reports, this 200 foot tower in the city of Xi'an was built to pull deadly pollutants from the air, and preliminary research shows the tower has cut air pollution significantly across a broad swath of the surrounding area. Although China has been working hard to curb air pollution, other countries are seeing a rise in the number of PM 2.5 particles and other pollutants in the air, which means giant air purifiers might be a cost-effective solution to this growing problem. Despite what the media might say about this solution, it is another example of Chinese innovation. The data showed that there was a 19% drop in PM 2.5 over 3.86 square miles in the tower's vicinity. This data alone should create interest from other nations and cities that are struggling with their own pollution problems. All right, we've made it to number one on this list, and if you made it this far, consider hitting that like button and maybe even subscribing because it really helps. All right, let's reveal number one on this list. It is 3D printed houses. If you're older than 20, you probably know that the housing markets around the world are ridiculous, and China is no exception, which is why a lot of people have turned to alternative housing. One idea that has gained some traction is 3D printed homes, and a company in Shanghai specializes in these buildings. 3D printing is by no means new, but in 2014, a Chinese company called Winsun Decoration Design Engineering managed to create a 10 house 3D printed village in under one day. After printing out each of the prefabricated modules, the components were lifted into place by a crane and were ready to use. And in 2015, the same company created the world's tallest 3D printed building at the time. I added this to the list because Winsun seems to be at the forefront of this industry in China, and I feel it is a quick and cost-effective way to build buildings and housing, especially for underdeveloped areas. Many nations are facing housing shortages or affordability issues within their housing markets, and these are safe and cost-effective methods that could improve the markets and possibly provide solutions to homelessness. So there you have it. Next time someone says China is an advance, you can show them this video or even explain that progress isn't always fast, but China has been working on it for the last few decades and things are now starting to bear fruit. World's first means nobody has ever done it before, and yet Chinese companies continue to get world first headlines and are innovating regardless of what others want to believe. So what do you believe? Is China still technologically backwards or is the media trying to portray China in a specific light because they're scared that China is actually becoming too technologically advanced? Leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. And if you are looking for another video to watch about China's tech industry or about Chinese tech, you might like this video here.